Hi everybody, this is Structural Steve again. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace a standardized profile with a fresh clean version of itself, just in case something happens to it and that standardized profile gets messed up or tools aren't working properly. So this is gonna be a fresh install of a standardized profile. So first thing you wanna do is uh, save any kind of custom tools you might have in that profile that you wanna replace. Because oftentimes along the way when we're uh, working in Bluebeam, we'll create some kind of custom tools inherently. So down here, I have some custom tools that I created here that aren't part of the standardized profile. And I want to save those so that I can bring them back in when I reinstall this, this you know standardized profile here. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and click this little cog wheel here and click export. And you can save this anywhere. I'm just going to put it in some kind of temp folder here for now. And basically all that's doing is exporting this, this tool set, this custom tools that you created here. And if you created those tools and you put them in one of the standard uh, tool sets up here, then you may want to create a, a new tool set to make that separate from that tool set up here. And in order to do that, you can just go to your tool chest, manage tool sets and hit add. And then I'll just make one here, it's called test. And let it save it to the default path here. And so any of those custom tools that you might have created and you put in a standardized tool set, which would get overwritten, you can now place those in uh, your custom tools that you created yourself down here. So this is gonna be the one you wanna export. So if I wanted to you know, track these, I can just drag these down here. For some reason, this is a custom one I made. I can just drag them down here and then export this one here. So now that we have our, our tools, our custom tools backed up that aren't part of the standardized profile, we're gonna go, go ahead and switch to a different profile because in order to delete this one here, which had, again, we're assuming there's something wrong with it, there's something missing or some tools aren't working. In order to delete this, then you have you can't have that profile active. So we're just gonna activate something else for now. So activate the review profile. And now I can go back to review, profiles, and manage profiles. I'm gonna select that ACP01. That's the one I wanna delete. I'm gonna hit delete. Yes, and hit OK. And now what I need to do is I need to go ahead and you know, re-import that ACP01 profile, the one I want to bring back in here. So there's two ways to do it. You can go to Review Profiles and Manage Profiles again, and you can import and then just navigate to where the file's at. Or um, another way you can do it is if you know where the file's at, you can just double click on it actually, and that'll install it for you, which is kind of neat. So our profile here is going to be stored on ProjectWise. So I'm going to navigate to uh, the link here, ACP, and Resource Manual, General, Bluebeam, and this profile stem. So this is where our profile is stored. So this is where that ACP01 is. So all I'm going to do is just double click on this, actually. It'll open as read-only, that's fine. Hit OK, and then it's going to go ahead and start installing it in Bluebeam here. So it recognizes that some of these tool sets already exist, and do I want to overwrite them? And I'm going to say yes to all these because any of those ones, the custom ones I might have put in any of these tool sets, I remember I backed up earlier. That's the first step that I did. So I'm going to go ahead and yes to all these. And that profile is successfully imported now. So now I want to go to my tool chest here and I want to bring in those custom tools that I had saved. So I can go up to tool chest and manage tools. And let's go ahead and import those tools. Let's go to import. And we're going to navigate to where that uh, tool set was saved at. And I don't remember what the file path was here, but that's fine. I can just hit cancel and I can actually just do what I did before, which is hit add and just give it some name here. Because the reason I'm doing this is I want to find that file path where I saved those tools earlier. So now I can steal that file path. I'm just going to right click on it and copy. I'll hit cancel. I cancel again. And now when I go to import, I can just paste that file path in here, hit enter, and now I'm right where I need to be. So I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to go to that Steve Tools, open that up, and there's my custom tools that I saved before I deleted the profile. And now I can put those wherever I want, right? I can put those in one of the standardized sections of the profile if I want to. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video.